It's still a little warm and humid out there right now. Is that what we're going to see for the rest of the night? The rest of the evening, Jared. In fact, temperatures outside almost everywhere across northeast Kansas in the 90s, a little bit after 5 o'clock this evening. I'm tracking temperatures uh, in Topeka in the lower and middle 90s. In fact, it's 93 degrees uh, in the capital city right now. A mixture of sunshine and clouds out there, but a couple nasty thunderstorms for our northeasternmost counties and communities earlier today. Hiawatha, Brown County, you guys saw some heavy downpours, even some small hail earlier. Uh, temperatures did not rebound for you. Uh, 82 degrees up in Brown County this evening. Kind of the same temperature uh, in Seneca and Sabetha. Temperatures for you guys in Nemaha County in the middle uh, 80s as well. Temperatures across the Cobb River Valley tonight. Uh, pretty uniform in the lower and middle 90s, but I'm tracking a cool down just in time for your Tuesday. So as promised, hot and humid weather today continuing tonight. But here we go with future tracks. So you can plan the rest of your evening and eventually your Tuesday morning. Uh, by 10 p.m. tonight, temperatures uh, still pretty steady in the middle to upper 70s, maybe close to 80 degrees across the Interstate 70 corridor. By the time you wake up tomorrow, uh, temperatures pretty similar in the upper 60s and lower 70s, but they will not have time to rebound as high as they got today as we track scattered showers and thunderstorms into the area uh, by tomorrow afternoon. This is about 3.30 p.m. Temperatures north of the highway will be the warmest tomorrow, maybe 89 or 90. South of the highway, a bit better chance for some rain from Alma down to Emporia, even Burlington and Osage City, tracking temperatures for you guys in the lower and middle 80s. And that's basically it. For those of you keeping score at home, our average high temperature for this time of the year is right at 90 degrees. So some seasonably cool air on the way for tomorrow with all that cloud cover and a chance for some rain. Tonight, though, max track radar, we are dry, and we continue that trend overnight into tomorrow, but that cloud cover already increasing across the area. In fact, I'm watching a wave of energy right now and tracking rain returning to the area. Uh, really pushing uh, into uh, Kansas and extreme western and southwestern parts of the state. That uh, batch of energy out near Colorado will actually combine with another one once it makes its way to the east tonight into tomorrow morning, bringing us rain chances in the eastern half of the Sunflower State uh, by tomorrow afternoon. So here we go with future tracks. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, that cloud cover increases pretty rapidly across the area, continuing through your uh, lunch break and into your afternoon. And here comes some scattered showers and thunderstorms. First, probably north of Interstate 70 and sagging southward throughout the day. Uh, by 2 or 3 p.m., uh, there's those rain chances. Really figuring here about a general half of an inch of rain across the area. But in a couple uh, slow-moving thunderstorms, you could be tracking some locally heavy amounts of rain. No severe weather is expected right now. However, heavy rainfall, maybe some small hail and gusty winds could be possible in a couple of these, but sticking around and pushing south even throughout the later stages of your afternoon into the early evening, 7 or 8 p.m., scattered showers and thunderstorms moving to the south in with time, and then round two, overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning. This is early Wednesday at about 8 o'clock. Here come some scattered showers and thunderstorms. This is the cold front we're tracking, which will help us break up the heat a little bit later on this week. But for tonight, we fall back down to 72, partly cloudy skies. Still right now cannot rule out the isolated chance for a shower or storm, uh, just like our north towns saw early this morning. Otherwise, we are dry. The better rain chance, as I just tracked out for you, uh, will be tomorrow afternoon. First to the north, then pushing south. 88 degrees for high temperature again on Wednesday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms west to east across the area along the spine of that cold front. Taking high temperatures down into the middle 80s Thursday and Friday. Low temperatures in the 60s, Jared. So a lot of hot and humid weather from this past weekend still left over today. But it is August. Here come the rain chances, though, as soon as tomorrow. Well, what's nice, we haven't been, had too much rain. And it's keeping us out of the drought. Exactly. It's just enough. It's just enough. The farmers are happy. Everyone else is happy. Go outside and play in the puddles. All right. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> Stay